there, I hope you all are staying safe and finding ways to connect with your loved ones. My name is Katherine Bragdon. Back in 2004, I had the pleasure of going to the very first Moisture Festival shows. Soon after, I began volunteering and it was so much fun that I never stopped. During these 16 years with the Moisture Festival, I married my husband, Ted, and together we have raised our children, Johanna and Kaylin, in this magical community. We have met the most amazing people along the way, the volunteers who make the festival come alive, the performers who always dazzle the audiences, the restaurant owners who feed all of the staff and the volunteers every single day of the festival, the supportive Hales Brewery staff, and our beloved producers. The producers work tirelessly throughout the year to produce the festival each spring. There are five Moisture Festival producers. Three of them are founding members, and they are Tim First, Mock DeVee, and Ron W. Bailey. Together, they recruited the incredible longtime volunteer, Jennifer Wensrich. The newest member to the production team is Charlie Casters. Charlie is a sixth generation circus performer from Paris, France. During this online show, you will hear from the producers as they present some of the acts who have graced the stage of Hale's Palladium. Meanwhile, two friends, uh, Ron, whom I knew through the Oregon Country Fair and the Royal Famille de Canavaux, and Mac, whom I had met some years before with the Cirque de Flambe. The two of them were talking about starting a European style variety festival uh, based on what Ron had seen in Berlin that uh, Hockey Ginda had produced. And the two of them decided that they needed more help pulling it off and especially someone with a lot of connections to performers. And so they approached me. I liked the idea and I also liked the idea of instead of uh, traveling to visit friends, getting the friends to come to Seattle so I could see them here. Uh, slack rope walker astounded me. A slack rope acrobat perhaps might be a better term because he did far more than just walk a slack rope. Doing things I hadn't seen before, doing things uh, other people would appreciate and be astounded by. After seeing his video, I reached out to him and it took a little doing to figure out some available dates because of his schedule, uh, but I was very pleased when Evgeny Vasilenko was able to join us at the festival.
everyone. I'm Jennifer Wensrich. I've been a producer of the festival for about 10 years. I'm also the festival's director of smooth operations. During the festival, I work with our volunteers. Almost everyone who works on the festival has been a volunteer. It was that one friend who said, come do this fun thing with me. They walk in, not sure quite what to expect, and come out part of the festival family for years of volunteering. During the festival time, I'm the house manager of the festival. One of the special things about house managing the festival is meeting everybody, from the volunteers to our patrons, and especially being able to spend time with our artists backstage after the show, as we get to learn so much about their lives outside of the festival. Uh, for example, Iman Lazarazu, who is from the Basque region, is not only an award-winning clown who has graced our stages for many years, she also holds a doctorate in astrophysics and speaks five languages. It's always a treat to see Iman Lazarazu on our stage. Her light and energy brings the theater alive. Ton valse danse, brille d'insolence, la vie te bouscule quelquefois. Petite amoureuse, je te sens rêveuse lorsque tu habites dans mes bras. 
Dépêche-toi de rire, petite, et que le bonheur palpite. Tu vas l'inventer, je le crois. Mettons-nous contre la porte pour que jamais il ne sorte. L'amour te berce, je veille sur toi. Petite poupée au regard grisé de la vie à peine apparue. Tu m'as renvoyé en rêve brisé, mon enfance déjà révolue. Continue de jouer petite, mon enfant, mon âme, je veille sur toi. Petite poupée au regard grisé de la vie à peine apparue. Tu m'as renvoyé en rêve brisé, mon enfance déjà révolue. Continue de jouer petite, mon enfant, mon insolite, la tendresse protège du froid. Et si le chagrin t'escorte, nous lui fermerons la porte, sois rebelle et montre-le du doigt. Uh, I'll see a video immediately. I'll realize that their skill is on par with or beyond anything I've seen before. Not only the physical skill, but the way they put it together into an act. And there are a few performers. I'll just see their video and immediately contact them and see if they're available. One of them was an extraordinary hand balancer. And we've had a number of hand balancers at the festival. This person was doing some things that were new to me, which is unusual because I've seen a lot of acts. And the grace with which he did it was also uh, unusual. And I was just blown away the first time I saw his video. I was very happy when Andre Moraru uh, agreed to come out and perform at the festival.
Hello, my name is Charlie Castor, also known as De Dessus le Moutier. I'm a producer at Moisture Festival, but also I'm a performer since my youth. I was in the circus and in the variété. So, a few years back, I would like to tell you a little story. We worked in San Francisco with my brothers. And there we met a couple, the Gentiles, and they want to learn our technique. That's the juggling human on your feet. Icarien, it's called. And uh, my brother Tolly taught them for a few months, and then they went on the road uh, with what they learned. Few years passing, I met with them again in uh, Seattle, but there, there was a little children with them, four of them, <laughs> and they're all talented, and they want me to taught them as well the castor technique, because we developed this technique for many years, and now I want to pass it over. So it is nice to see them growing and uh, the progress they're doing. They're such a fun to work with. Uh, and uh, when they work, it's a little bit of me that works with them, and that makes me feel very proud. So I want to see if I can contact them right now. Hello, Gentiles, are you there? Hi, Charlie! Hey, yeah, hello, hello, all the family. Nice to see your face. What are you doing this time now in pandemic? Ah, yeah, you practice other things. Oh, yeah. Well? Um, I'm making this house. What I've made so far is this bunk bed. Here. <laughs> not bad, but your act is not ready. So maybe it's better that we show what you can do on stage, because you're all talented. I say goodbye. Bye, Charlie. Bye. Bye. And now, please enjoy the family Gentile. Thank you. 
everyone. Uh, my name is Mark Devi. I'm one of the founders and producers of the Moisture Festival. And what is my job? Well, whatever they want me to do. I'll do a little of this, a little of that. I'm intangible. All I want to do is sit in the audience and watch people perform and laugh, laugh, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, la 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 ladies and gentlemen, the next, next, next. <laughs> Aki, what a great clown. But when you talk about Aki, you have to talk about the chameleon. And the chameleon is in Berlin. Well, on the 10 November 1989, the wall fell down in Berlin. And that make a great opening. Suddenly the East and the West was not more separate. It was a real big Berlin. 
When you go to the east side, everything was so neglected a little bit. And Peter Rose and Aki Ginda and some other friends, they find this theater, the Chameleon, was situated in the Aki Sheoff. So there was a lot of uh, construction going on because that was really in a bad shape. In 1991, they did the first show, Paradis Paradise. But the still the place was in construction, so the audience had to come in with a crash helmet. <laughs> Such a fun. This show was elected by the journalist, the most innovative theater in Berlin. So there was a big success. And at that time also we were working with Tom Noddy, the bubble guy, in the Wintergarten, another variety from Berlin. And one night we were invited to see the show in the Chameleon. We didn't know where we go, so we were open to see another show. But when we arrived there, we were so surprised. It was so creative, so innovative. And Haki Meskos laughed so much. We met with the guy afterwards and we became right away friends. One day he offered us to do some shows in there. We did several shows in the Chameleon. They all bring everlasting memories. The show we did with uh, Aki was very inspirational. And uh, we bring some new stuff and that was a lot of fun to do it. And uh, here we have some small example of what the show looked like. So this is really the essence of the variety that we can now enjoy at the Moister Festival. The first show we did in the Camelon was called Schöne Füße aus Berlin with my brother Tolly and Eddie and my son Eric. It was a collective work and so everybody could bring his idea. So it was very innovative. From the first day to the last day, it could be completely different. And that, of course, it's very fun to do. Aki in the Camelon was a king in his kingdom. The people loved him. Aki and the Camelon were, are the spirit of the Moister Festival. And I hope the Moister Festival keep that spirit for many years to come. Right now is the, the first show of the last week of the, of the festival. And so I have to say that every week so far of the 15th festival has been nothing but fun. First of all, the artists are excited to be here and the people putting on the festival are excited to welcome them to the festival. So the feeling in the back stage area is just such a wonderful feeling that happens between everybody and especially this year so when you get that feeling backstage you're sure that it's going to be a good show so when you walk out into a full house with that kind of energy it's just one of the best feelings in the world and the thing is like most of the artists no, none of them let you down. They go out there, they have their little slot in the show, and they just bring a certain magic to the stage because they're excited to be at the festival. And when they step on that stage, they're stepping on a stage that's presented hundreds and hundreds of acts over 15 years. And all of them exciting, all of them unique, and it's just been a fun 15 years. I'm hoping that everyone can find a way to keep this going and then pass it on to more people that can keep it going. And I think that because the feeling is so strong, 
among the performers and the tech crew and the band and the volunteers, everybody works as a team. I'm very optimistic that it's going to keep going. Theater Hales Palladium at Hales Brewery in Fremont. It's the longest running independent brewery in the Pacific Northwest. So, next time you're in Fremont, remember to stop by Hales and get yourself a six pack of Hales Ale. Cheers! Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to this Moisture Festival show. We hope that you will share it with your friends and family. And until the next broadcast, may laughter reign. <laughs>